Waiting for door to open Waiting for a breeze to blow Waiting for the sun to surface Before the season snow Looking for a sense of purpose Looking for a spark to fly Looking for a new dawn breaking Lighting up the bluest sky Biding time Biding time Biding time in slow motion Living life Living life Well the countdown begins I just had notification from the marina that uh, I'm good to go back to the boat and start work again, which is great. Uh, I've been able to get to the boat now since uh, before Christmas, um, but now I can get back on Monday. Uh, I'll be there first thing and start to carry on with the work and hopefully get back on the water and then get on the way. Unfortunately, I've also been informed that the lock gates in Liverpool are shut down. Um, so they won't be open till the, uh, May, 14th of May. I've got a new filter uh, for the raw water intake. Uh, as you remember, I removed the old one, which is a brass one. Still have that if somebody wants it, but uh, um, I need to get that sorted. Then my tea and coffee, if it's left over. And then the thermal wraps, I've shown all of these previously, and they're quite good, quite pleased with those. And then, I'm going to put me, uh, my transponders on, uh, transducers, I should say, or transponders, yeah, uh, for the Ray Marine. And then there's, a spare one, not just a spare reflector really. I uh, don't need that, I've got a good one already fitted. Then there's one I've had on all my boats, uh, which is my shower. If anyone hasn't used these, I find them really good. Even on a, on a slightly summer day, uh, you just fill them in water and they heat up uh, to warm on a really hot summer's day. Believe me, the water is absolutely boiling. The only thing is, don't lie them down flat, uh, keep them hanging up because um, I lay my down, uh, mine down in the boat once and I came back and the boat was flooded, uh, it just leaked. And I've got some of these uh, because I've got the bimini and the cover uh, which has got no support at the moment so I'll be using the bungee cord to do that. And then. Obviously the sea dodgers, they're not in good shape uh, at all, but they'll do, they'll do this season and I can start thinking about uh, what I can use for next season. New halyards, uh, there to go on. And again, I showed you uh, the work that I was doing on those, fitting um, some of the ends to that. Really, that's the end now. Um, did a couple of fids and put yeah there they are. Uh, made those ends there hook on uh, with a shackle and again with a, the blue one there so made all those uh, as you know in lockdown uh, give me something to do and then I've got a set of um, clocks really I don't know what they're like, uh, they, they look alright, and they're the size I need um, to go on uh, a new set. I've always bought second hand ones, but they don't last, <laughs> they break very quickly. So I bought these, they're about I don't know, 40 quid, I think they were, uh, and they'll go up. And then I've got bin bags, so I can get them with me bins. And 
Then the other thing is, is all the uh, children uh, tags, and they're, they're excellent. They really are good. Well worth every penny of those. Uh, what else have we got in here? It's like Aladdin's cave. Isn't it? It's um. Oops. Oh yeah. I've got a standard box of those. I, I don't really like those, but they're good to keep around. Um, and then this, uh, I showed you, I got the, the other day uh, when I was making a damn boy, uh, pretty poorly uh, made damn boy. But when I get, can get back to the boat, I've got some perfect um, containers I can use for another damn boy. And I can give that away to somebody, but uh, these these are ideal. They're good for routing cables inside the boat. Um, dead cheap and uh, easy to connect up and small uh, out the way. As you know, on a boat you need to save space. And then that's it, I think. Uh, we win the indicator. Just uh, I got that years ago. Um, it's a wind indicator and uh, it's quite simple and uh, it works very well because the ambient temperature which is good yep and the spare GoPro batteries I'm looking uh, whether I should be buying a new GoPro 9, I, I do like it, and it's got the facilities I need, uh, and it's producing better filming this year, so that's it, uh, <laughs> the only thing I'm missing really is um, an 8mm, I need an 8mm um, rope to go from the uh, Jenica Furler, right down, right to the back. Uh, so I need to get that really. But that will all be going with me on Monday and I'll be able to sort that out and start work. I'll, I'll need to go over the boat first and just check that I've got everything. So now the countdown's on, I'm getting all excited again, I'm back to the boat. I know everyone's been through this this year, uh, but it's amazing how it gets to you, isn't it? Anyway, see you on Monday. And a big thanks to Pete Davies for letting me use his music, slow down, watch his channel, superb music, writes all his own songs, brilliant to watch. Now this is what happens, you see, you go away, you think you're coming back the next day and all of a sudden you can't get back to the boat. And so you have to leave it for three months. And now I can't remember where anything is. We need the transponder. I need the instructions to put the transponder on with. And I don't know where anything is at the moment. Because uh, we need to get all the, make sure I've got the right glue. So I've got one transponder, which is not good enough. This is a lesson in keeping a tidy boat, that way you know where everything is. It's not in there. Really, I'm stuck now to where it may be.
of the rubbish around. It's not a small thing, I hope I haven't left it alone. Because that's another journey needed. It shouldn't be needed. I wonder if it's in the van, it's not in the van. Why would I have taken it home though? That's the yes, thing. Why? There's no point in taking it home, there's nothing. No reason for it. Got a torch on you, have you done it? I bet you they've been using oh, it. Yeah, I got this one. That's dead as well. All the torches are dead. All the torches, absolutely dead. And they want to come dead on their own after three months. You did have your big duffel bag with you last time though, you might have put it in it. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I wonder if it's in. I better go and check it out now, mate. Okay, as we couldn't fit the transponders, minus the bolts, it's back to just in the water outlet. Again using Sikaplex T91i screw that up. Make sure that that's fully sealed all round. the hole in the boat. Worse than anti power stuff, it goes everywhere. And anti power is bad, believe me.
grazie Right, the thing to do now, because I can't do much else, is fit this seat off.